I'm here at Florida International University's Biscayne Bay campus, one of the many communities along the coast in South Florida that will be affected by climate change and the rising seas that it brings. We caught up with NBC6's John Morales, an expert on climate change, to learn more about how the rising seas will impact South Florida homeowners. It's going to be a cascading a set of circumstances which is going to be quite shocking, I believe, to many. Morales, whose predictions have been helping Floridians since Hurricane Andrew, is one of few meteorologists that emphasizes climate change in his broadcasts. In heavy precipitation, you can easily flood, and then that can cause additional damage. In case of a hurricane, you can have a storm surge be higher just because the sea level is higher. Morales believes coastal residents will wake up when the rising seas begin to decrease the value of their homes. It's not just an inconvenience and the possibility of damage. It's the possibility that insurers are going to not want to take that risk. According to the Southeast Florida Regional Compact Climate Action Plan, sea level may rise 6 to 10 inches by 2030 and 14 to 26 inches by 2060. If people want to live there, they can't have a mortgage anymore because mortgages require insurance. So you got to buy those homes cash. That is going to be a big hit to the local economy and a big shock to many people in terms of, of what this sea level rise's ultimate result will end up being. 